Brooks Wooden on 100% Canadian Maple Stirrup. Hello and welcome to The Daily Rant. I'm Alex Wooden. Annually, there are billions of dollars raised for so-called cancer research. And although there has been little to no advancement in treatment in the last 30 years, and children are needlessly subjected to deadly chemo and cancer-causing so-called radiation treatments, while the healthcare industry ignores or works to discredit alternative treatments like CBD. But these sickening crimes against humanity are not the focus of today's rant, although that will be coming soon. No, today's rant is about the lack of concern for a multitude of carcinogenic products in food items, as well as radiation exposure and increased youth risk when exposed to radiation, as well as those in the know who are concerned with the issue are well aware of. A lot of people don't even actually know what cancer really is. Wikipedia defines cancer as a group of diseases involving abnormal cell growth with the potential to invade or spread to other parts of the body. Cancer is a type of disease where cells grow out of control, divide, and invade other tissues. In a person without cancer, cell division is under control. As we struggle to treat cancer, and childhood cancer more specifically, we encourage Wi-Fi in schools and wireless devices for kids. There is not and never has been a reason to subject kids to Wi-Fi for education's sake, as a hard line can be just as fast, if not faster, while totally free of ionizing EMF radiation. In many European Union nations, use of Wi-Fi is restricted from primary schools and most high schools as well, opting for hardline internet instead. But these claims are not my own. These are facts directly from the manufacturer that are mandatory to warn of the damage, probably to shield them from at least some of the liability of the eventuality of the health issues that will arise. From Wikipedia, the SAR, Specific Absorption Rate, is a measure of the rate at which energy is absorbed by the human body when exposed to a radio frequency, RF. Electromagnetic field. It can also refer to the absorption of other forms of energy by tissue. It is defined as the power absorbed per mass of tissue and has units of watts per kilogram. That sounds a little like a how-to on cooking a Thanksgiving turkey in the microwave. SAR for electromagnetic energy can be calculated from the electrical field within the tissue. SAR measures exposure to fields between 100 kHz and 10 GHz, known as radio waves. It is commonly used to measure power absorbed from mobile phones and during MRI scans. The value will depend heavily on the geometry of the part of the body that is exposed to the RF energy. Go ahead and look up MRIs. They give you a dangerous amount of radiation damage and should only be used in emergency diagnoses and treatments and not as a routine technique of invasive observation. As of now, there is no law to protect children and youth from EMF exposure like exists in the EU. And tech giants, largely manufacturing in slave capital of the globe, China, are clearly devoid of any ethical standards legal consequences or restrictions on the detrimental effects that their products have on the population, foremost being the youth, with still developing an ultra-sensitive DNA and organs. But the microwaves, EMF, and irresponsible 5G expansion planned for 2020 and beyond aren't the only threats that are proven to be highly carcinogenic and genetically damaging, that are being gleefully operated for profit and a control of the masses, health in a treasonous fashion. Children diagnosed with ADHD can be subjected needlessly to pills at the young ages of 6 to 16, and it can forever alter their brain chemistry, but also is extremely bad for their overall developments and cellular health, consistency, and structuring. Therefore, they are put at much higher risk of developing cancer later in life, particularly reproductive or breast cancer, but also liver and kidney cancer, failure and general problems, even from what a malicious pill-pushing PhD may call a small dose. I guarantee whatever damage is done annually to kids from street drugs pales in comparison to the damage done legally by Big Pharma. 
Next on the list of known cancer-causing detriments, pushed upon a seemingly mentally helpless people for what can only be interpreted as, given the facts and logical implications, deliberate population control via encouragement of cancer development? GMOs and pesticides, proven to cause cancer, needlessly used for productivity and profit's sake, and injecting livestock with growth hormones, in spite of basic knowledge, clearly dictating this is seriously bad for end product meat, egg, and dairy, quality and safety, clearly unethical by even the most basic standards. Why, in Canada alone, there are plenty of confirmed carcinogenic additives that are 100% legal, such as MSG, added needlessly to chips, instant noodles, and other cheap foods, often staple food items, as if to make it hard to avoid for the poorer. Also on the list is tartrazine, which is commonly found in Kraft Dinner, cheap candy targeted at kids, and plenty of other products that are innocent enough that children ingest them daily, in spite of Canada having government bodies that are supposed to make sure food is safe. There are more confirmed carcinogens you and your family are legally being exposed to on a daily basis. And finally, the issue of cigarettes. Tobacco on its own has been part of the European culture for hundreds of years, or more. Sure, it can cause respiratory issues or heart problems, but did you ever consider the fact that a smoker should not be subjected to over 500 chemicals added to every pack just for wanting to puff on something that doesn't even get you high? Is it fair to kill people 30 years early just because Big Tobacco wants to add weight or make the cigarettes more addictive, similar to a cocaine dealer cutting the product with amphetamines or fentanyl to achieve the same thing? Only a sociopath would argue the tired line, it's a smoker's choice. I can't help but fear where cannabis could be taken with no oversight or a mafioso-like farce of one like tobacco products have enjoyed. Is it so very insane to think the immunizations like MMR could be detrimental to a lot of people's health? To think that 5G could render a generation infertile with toxified, leukemia-riddled circulatory systems? To accept that anything the corporations and government bodies say is safe beyond question while they openly admit to poisoning? Not just adults, but children? So before you give a dollar to any charity claiming to be trying to find the cure, before you try to argue this country protects we, the citizens. Ask yourself this. Why is the government letting us all be poisoned intentionally by big corporations at every opportunity that arises? How many people, kids even, have died or developed cancer as a result of them allowing this to happen? Clearly, there has been a rise in cancer, not just juvenile cancer, in the past generation. Hell, in the past two decades alone. What are ways we can focus on preventing cancer rather than curing and consenting to it? And who are all the people that we need to prosecute with manslaughter, treason, and genocide for betraying us all? My take on the issue? It's time to sharpen the guillotines and twist up some good old-fashioned 100% Canadian hemp fiber ropes. This has been your Daily Rant. I'm Alex Wooden. Thank you.